So we're in Pittsburgh. And the question is, do we go play poker at Rivers Casino for the first time on this vlog? Not sure, but let's find out. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, as you can tell from the intro, we're going. We're in the elevator, we're heading down. Rivers Casino, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. One, three, no limit. Let's go. What's up, guys? It's me, Tony G, coming to you from the Rivers Casino in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is episode 171 of my poker vlog. This is episode 172 of my poker vlog. In this episode, well, we're playing poker. We're up here for work, and we had a chance to uh, get away for a couple hours at night, so we're gonna go play some poker. One, three, no limit. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Hey, do me a favor, if you're new here, I appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. It helps the channel out, it helps me out. If you're not new here, make sure you hit. I appreciate you coming back. Appreciate all the support. Make sure you go, make sure you go check out the Felt Life Shop. Description down below. Appreciate it again. I, I appreciate everybody. Let's get into this episode. All right guys, so we are on the list right now for one three, just waiting to get a seat. It's uh, like 11.30 at night. 11.45 right now, I'm sorry. So uh, there's like eight tables going, but nobody is giving a seat up yet. So we've been waiting about five minutes. Hopefully it won't be long, we're like third in line. Let's go. Okay, so this isn't the most eventful episode, but we did make it to a new casino on the vlog, and I thought I played decently well. Obviously, I always welcome all the comments, negative or not, down in the description or down in the comment section. Go ahead and leave them to me and let's get into it. Okay, okay, here we are. About 15 minutes after sitting down, I have a semi-decent hand on the button, 5'6", not suited. And uh, yeah, it gets around to us and we make it $11 to go. And two other people feel like they have a hand, so they call. So we're going three ways to the flop, which is 7 9 king rainbow well we're looking for the gutter to the straight here but uh checks the road into me and uh yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and check it and see what the uh, turn has in store and boom it's the eight of hearts we hit our gutter for the straight so it checks around to me again and i throw out 10 keep any nines in there ace nine king nine any king so i do get one caller and the river is the ace of clubs so if somebody does an ace nine ace king they have a very strong two pair and i'm hoping i can get the maximum out of this guy i throw out a bet of 20 after he checks it over to me and he tanks but ultimately he does fold unfortunately but we'll take down the first pot of the night let's go Okay, guys, a couple orbits later, we have King Jack under the gun. Actually, it might have been under the gun plus one. Anyway, I make it $6 to go, and there are a couple calls, but middle position has other plans and raises it to $20. I call, and three others call. Well, I'm sorry, two others call plus the uh, initial re-raiser. We're going four ways to the flop, and it is Jack, Queen, Nine, Rainbow. I have a pair of jacks, so it's not looking too bad right now. Hope, hoping for a 10 here. I'm the first one to act, and I throw out a bet of $25. And it is heads up with the middle position guy. So we're off to a turn, and the turn 
is basically a brick. It's the five of spades. So again, I am first to act and I decide on a bet of $40. I thought about it. I should have made it a little bit more, but I thought 40 was a decent price for what the pot was. And he decides on a call. And the river is a terrible card. It's the ace of spades, brings the back door flush, and he ace beats me. I check, and he actually checks for some reason and shows me ace of hearts, ace of diamonds. Why'd you check? Okay, after that last hand where I dumped a bunch of money into the pot, let's see if we can redeem ourselves with this little beauty. Okay, about 45 minutes after that last hand, we have jack of diamonds, nine of diamonds, under the gun. I make it $6 to go, and apparently three other people like their hand, so they're going to go ahead and call, and we are going four ways to the flop as soon as the dealer stops talking to the guy to his left. Here we go. Yes, there you go, sir. Thank you. And the flop is deuce, king, six with two diamonds. This is looking pretty good for us so far with the diamond flush draw. It checks to me. I just throw a bet of $10 out there and everybody but the middle position folds. So we are heads up. Let's hit a diamond on this turn. Let's see what we can do. And the poker gods help us out. The turn is the queen of diamonds. That's right. We have the queen high flush now. And he checks it over to me and I bet $15. So, let's go. He calls, let's go. Ace of hearts on the river. Not worried about it. He checks to me again. And this time, I bump it up to 20. Just milking him at this point. I want him to throw some money in there. But he does tank fold, unfortunately. But we'll recoup a couple dollars we lost in the last hand and take down the pot. Let's go. So after about three, three and a half hours, I decide that I'm very tired and I need to call it a night and this will be the last hand I'm going to play and I get this pretty decent hand. Let's go. Okay, so as previously stated, this is the last hand. I have ace jack under the gun. I make it six dollars, but before I can even finish my sentence, the drunk guy to my left cold calls 17. This dude's been doing it all night and finally getting into a hand with him. Apparently, two other people besides us two wanted to get in this hand because we're going four ways to the flop. That's right, folks. Four ways. Let's go. The flop is 10 ace king with two hearts. I have the ace of hearts for the flush blocker there. And I have top hair right now, so I'm doing pretty good. Gets to me. I'm the first to act. I'm sorry. And I throw out a bet of $20. Drunk guy goes, I'll call. He calls, and then one other person calls. So we're going three ways to the turn, which brings on the straight draw, the jack of spades. Uh, I do have two pair now, but if somebody's got a queen, they got me beat. So I check, and it actually checks around to the river. The river is the four clubs. This time, I down bet for my previous bet to 15, and apparently it confuses the drunk guy because he tanks. Big time. And I sped it up here, and he just mumbling something, and I'm not quite sure. But ultimately, he does fold, unfortunately. And so does the other guy. And we'll take down that pot. And uh, had a good time at Rivers. And uh, we're going to call tonight. Like I said, we're just tired as all get out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you liked and what you did like. And I'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.